He is the elephant-headed god from the Hindu pantheon of deities, invoking whose name, the Hindu believes, removes all obstacles to the start of any new endeavor, and praying to whom is a sure sign of an auspicious beginning. Ganesh, the pot-bellied child of the god Shiva and his consort Parvati, is a favorite of the Hindus. His benign contours and friendly demeanor ensure his presence in every household in the country. But nowhere is this elephant god revered more than in Maharashtra in Western India. During the 10 days of the Ganesh festival, the state finds itself in a hysterical but joyous mood. And the Ganesh festival becomes the focal point around which revolves cultural activities and community rituals. The god is first shaped into being by the moulds of artisans who mix clay and mud and then curve by curve. This is followed by the consecration of the statue in the various neighborhoods where, amidst decorative lighting and elaborate sets, the puja commences. Around these puja mandaps spring improvised bazaars, selling everything from gulals, which are colored powders, to eateries, spontaneous fast food stalls. Here in Pune, a city six hours from Bombay, the celebration of Ganapati has been made into a formal event. For these ten days, Pune has its own festival. No doubt the tribute to the elephant god is the central focus of this festival, but around it is structured a pageant and series of cultural and sports events that capture India's culture and gives the visitor a glimpse of what India has to offer. <laughs> 